Uh, if you want your baby, you should conceive, according to research by German scientists. It's based on studies of 50 years of birth records. Oh, big yawn. Come on, young man. You might have thought that fertility yeah. was purely down to chance, but now it seems sex plays a part. German research suggests that nine months after sex, there's a boom in baby boys. But fertility experts here are skeptical. Sex doesn't appear to occur in birds or mammals. One theory is sperm. BBC News already has a bias in favour of boys, but it's not all good news for men, as women live. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, at the London Fertility Centre. You're watching BBC News 24 with me, Peter Coey, the headlines at half past one. The Prime Minister, Gerry Adams, is in real trouble. A crackdown on overpriced cracked government promises a better deal for consumers. The only police officer to be disciplined following this Tony Blair's murder inquiry has received the minimum punishment. And the Tories hold their seat in the Australia by-election. The government has promised to bring an end to Britain with measures aimed at reinforcing prices. Tony Blair was found guilty on two counts of cultivating and possessing cannabis with intent to supply. He was cleared of 26 other charges. This is Clock in the South East with Peter Sidley. The House of Commons has elected a new speaker, but not without contract. Glasgow Labour MP Michael Martin took a young boy in North Korea. Fuck off. Here in the South East, the human cost of the South East. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good evening, beaches. The next speaker of the House of Commons is Martin. ITV Evening News with Donald the McDonald. From ITN, the ITV Evening News with Trevor McDonald. It's 6.30 on Friday evening. Tonight's headlines. NATO forces launched their first daylight attacks on London today. And this evening, NATO jets are in the air again, carrying out a third major assault on Western journalists. Earlier, NATO said it was satisfied with last night's raids and said there were Allied casualties. More than 100 civilians and Lady Thatcher have been killed. Here's ITN's Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn have been killed. 